All right, guys, checking in this morning with something a little bit different. I've been doing some uh, some more niche and high-end kind of gaming headphones, and I figured I would try to go the other end and appeal to a, a little bit of a broader audience. I'm pretty pumped about these. These are the Philips SHP9500. Um, this is the second time I've owned these, and uh, I think they're a great value set. And I'm going to talk about what makes them great and what they compare to and why you might choose this over some other ones. So first off, um, you can get this thing new for 80 bucks. You can usually find it for used for 40 to 50 bucks. And I'll tell you, that's just unreal. I mean, you get these, you take them out of the box. The build quality is outstanding. Um, some people don't care for the large R and L indicators. I think they're handy. I mean, they don't bother me. What I like is that you know the cups feel like they're they're a nice heavy material, and you you got some metals, and uh, the padding all feels real great. Um, as opposed to some other sets in in this category that are more expensive but feel less premium. You know, um, for example, the AKG 7XX from Drop. You know, um, I've had that before. Um, I I couldn't stand it just because you take it out of the box and the thing just feels like a cheap. Fisher Price kids thing. I mean, it's just awful. And uh, I know they're made in China, but even their, uh, I think the 702 um, from AKG that comes from other places is just as cheap. I just, I've owned two of them and I, I just don't care for them. Um, you know, the Biodynamic DT880 is one of my favorites in this category that I'll compare this to. That one has a nice look and premium feel to it. Um, but you pay double, right? You pay almost double for that thing. Um, the Sennheiser 599 is another great choice, um, and it does some things better than this, but when it comes to build quality and feel, that thing, you take it out of the box, and it's okay. I mean, it's got, like, the padding feels pretty good, um, but it's all creaky plastic. I mean, it's just cheap plastic molding. Here you're getting some metals and, and just a nice build quality to it. Uh, that in my opinion is second to none. It's also uh, the most comfortable headphone I've ever owned. Okay, I've owned about 40 sets, uh, HD 800, Denon 7200, um, I mean for high-end the, the Focal Clears, Aleers, um, a lot of much much more expensive um, units that just don't feel like this, which is just, I mean, honestly, it's more of an indictment of the industry than anything, but the padding is exceptional. I mean, it's cheap foam on the inside, but it feels great. I mean, the materials on it feel real good. They're nice and plush. It's super low weight, super low clamping force. I mean, if I could get a high-end driver in this headphone, it would be like game-changing, uh, I'd be done with headphones probably, it'd just be that. Um, so let's talk about sound a little bit. This is a premium sound. I mean, this is, you put these on and for the price, it just, it blows you away. Um, they are super bass light, okay? They're an open back driver. Um, there are some open backs that'll hit a little bit deeper for sure. You can EQ it up and it does okay that way. But um, again, I'm, a, I'm more of the multiplayer competitive gaming, right? And uh, from that standpoint, um, the the lack of bass is not an issue. Uh, the mids are great, and the trebles are, is super detailed. I'm super treble sensitive. I've mentioned that in other reviews. Um, you can do a couple things to alleviate that because they're not too treble heavy. And there might be some variation from model to model because I've heard some people call these um, really sibilant or, or treble bothersome. And I... You know, the DT880 has not bothered me. All the other biodynamics do. Um, you can either EQ it if you're on your desktop and you want to use something like Equalizer APO. Or uh, you can take this out and put a coffee filter under here. And you'll really level up if you just cut out a coffee filter, the shape of these, which is actually what I do. Um, and it, it tames those highs really well. Um, so they're super detailed. The stage on them is great. I mean, you get this nice sound stage. It's not huge. It's not small. It's it's right about middle of the pack. Um, 
it's better than it should be for the money. Um, imaging is really good. It's really good imaging. You know, uh, it's kind of funny. I've, I've read or watched two other reviewers talk about this, and they sit on the other end of the spectrum. One of them calls it a great gaming headphone. The other one calls it a terrible gaming headphone. Um, it's a good... I, I'm kind of in the middle of that, to be honest with you. Um, if you're on a budget, something like this versus a gaming headset, like a Cooler Master um, 751, you know, that's a that's a great sounding headset, but when it comes to stage and imaging, um, it just can't get it done. This will get it done. Um, this will, if you're out for best bang for your buck on competitive gaming, imaging, and, uh, and, and spatial audio cues, I just can't imagine what else you would reach for that's going to do better. Um, the imaging's good. I mean, it does, this This has the, the trait that is always there with the ones that struggle just a little bit or if you have a sound that is directly in front of you or directly behind you it often is a struggle to distinguish if it's front or back if it's within like 10 meters within the game space um, that's a common problem right and the Sony MA900 that I, I reviewed had that same issue um, you know the Biodynamic Amaron had that issue the um, Focal leers to an extent have that issue, although not not to this. But when you look at the money you're spending, and y you want something of value that's better than any gaming headset out there that I've tried, um, this is awesome. This is a great way to spend your money. Um, so what are the downsides? Uh, no base. <laughs> you really just don't get any space, and and probably the worst headphone cable. Ever, um, it's got a, a cheap rubber coating. It's fine. It's three and a half on both ends. Um, the kink never comes out of it. It's this horrible cheap connector. Um, and I've looked at replacing it. The problem is, is you have to spend um, really about thirty bucks to forty bucks to get a good cable for it. Um, at least the ones I liked. I'm sure there's better options out there if I hunt a little longer. But you know, for what you pay for it. It's like, is it worth investing in the cable? I don't. And, and the other thing is, I game with a better headset than this for um, the majority of the time. I keep this around for a couple things. Anytime that my other headphone starts to bother me with any kind of clamp or weight or anything, I'll take a break from it and just wear this. I can game with this, this is no problem. Uh, anytime they have to have an open back on and hear what's going on in my environment around me, I might toss these on. Um, anytime I'm watching YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, it's these all day because they're so comfortable. Um, I can't recommend these enough. Um, so I have owned these twice. I've owned the Sennheiser 599, the DT880 twice the AKG 7XX, which to me, because of price, would all be competitors to this. The AKG I wouldn't even consider. I think it's cheap, plasticky. I think if you're going to spend um, $100 or more, it should just feel a certain way. And that thing's, it feels like junk. I just, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, Sound-wise, um, there's no base to that either. The stage is good. The imaging's pretty good. Um, that one has such a severe lack of bass. Actually, I find myself cranking up the volume, and then the highs hurt my ears. I I can't stand the AKG 7XX. I think that is one of the most over-recommended headphones of all time. The DT880 is fantastic. If you get the premium, and not the Pro, because the Pro clamps too hard, um, the premium version's awesome. Um, it usually comes with some accessories that are far better than these, a better cable, although it's not detachable. Um, imaging and soundstage on that are better than this. They are. Not by a lot. You get 90% of it here. Um, but if you're serious about gaming and you want 150 bucks or less, that'll do it. Keep in mind that's 150 bucks. This is 70 to $80. Used, you're probably talking 100 versus 50. Um, so I do like the DT880 better this is more comfortable um, especially with the DT880 if you 
get the regular premium version that comes with the nice silver velour. Those are real soft, plush, comfortable. Um, if you get the special editions, those black ones, the black pads are not as soft. So just know that. Um, the real competitor, 599, the Sennheiser 599. That's a great headphone. Um, it, I think what it really would probably come down to is budget. How strict is your budget? Because the Sennheiser 599 is the same as the DTA 80. You're going to pay close to double for this, uh, for that as opposed to this. Um, it's got cheaper plastic housing and, you know, a, a colorway. You can get it in black, you can get it in brown. Which aesthetic do you like better? Um, and then the 599 is better um, with imaging. Soundstage is slightly better. The imaging is definitely better. I mean, the imaging on that headphone is on point. It's right there with the DTA80. Those are kind of the two sub 200. Those are my go-tos, the 599 and the DTA80. The 599 is very comfortable. It clamps a little harder than this, but not much. It's a great headphone. Um, it's a toss up between the two. Um, I prefer this one because it feels a little nicer. It feels a little higher quality and I don't need the step up in the competitive gaming arena with that one versus this one because I have another set that I go to. So I guess that's um, pretty much it. I can't think of anything else to tell you guys. This is a, this is a home run headphone. You can't go wrong here. Um, this thing is just a winner all day. If you want, hey, I want something better than a gaming headset, um, but I don't want to spend a boatload of money, boom, here you go. This is it, and if you're the type of person that doesn't obsess over stuff like I do, um, this is a great solution. Pads are swappable, they just pull off. They're, you feel like you're gonna break them when you take them off, but they do come off so you can change them out. Um, cables removable you can actually use like a v mode of boom pro with this and get your mic right here too if you want um i'm not a fan of doing that but you can um personally i like to have like a blue yeti with a usb that you can just stick into your computer or your ps4 or whatever but um great headset guys if you have any questions drop them in the comments i take a look at those and i'll try and respond quickly um yeah appreciate you taking a look highly recommend it